Pum, 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 pum. Oh, shoot, yeah, I'm going to have to enable the launcher. Oh, I, I don't use that launcher anymore. You can bypass it. But, yeah, I need to enable the mod in the launcher before we actually re-enable it. Let me see. Ah... Uh, Stupid launchers. Right, mods. I, I haven't even watched this launcher in ages just because I I know how to work around it. Manage DLC 90... Oh, okay. Uh, so where is it? Let me see. Should be on the, on the bottom right. More fun, less RNG. Enabled. Okay. I really wonder if... Yeah, wait a minute. If I now end, end it, I kind of want to use the 4 one. No, no. Oh, and very hard also, Red. I don't know if I should do it or very hard. Can, no, I'll just try it out on very hard. I, I really want to challenge you. So, yeah, sure. There. And then try out if this is going to work. So, now we're going to go with E4 again. The executable that is actually not using the launcher because, ugh, Paradox launcher. But thanks, man, for changing it. I really don't know if this is going to work, if the mod is going to be compatible, but I don't think they are changing UI, so it should. But yeah, you never know with uh, game-changing mods if they're going to be compatible or not. I will see. On very hard since Amex can help himself. <laughs> I deserve that, I guess. I deserve that. Thanks, Retrog. If you now hear, like, the music going away, it's uh, the mod that is actually not working. Hmm. Well, I can go to the main menu. That's promising. So, yeah. Let's try it out. Savoy. I don't know if the mod is enabled actually now. Let me see. No, not Iron Man mode. It seems like the mod is not even enabled. God damn it. I'm gonna have to use the uh, the game that is actually... Uh, I don't think I can use this it's executable without the... Um, no, this, I think this is just gonna be normal game. This is just gonna be normal game, I bet. Yeah. No, the mod doesn't seem to be active because I still... Uh... Ah, for the love of God. Fine, I'll, I'll do the executable from uh, the game itself and start it by the launcher. Yeah, it was enabled, Red Rock, but it seems like if you bypass... Never mind. Let me see. It's not even enabled. 45? Yeah, it's enabled in here. I think I'm just going to have to use my old client that actually uses the launcher, but... Oh, well. Let's see. So, done. And... Uh, play. So, now let's see if this game is going to fire up or not. Oh well, I'll just try capturing it already. I I think it's it's not gonna be a uh, different launcher. No, I'm not using the launcher at all. You can bypass it. Basically, what you gotta do then is to uh, copy your entire client to an other spot and then just start it with a desktop that is actually leading to the execute while Steam is active and you don't launch the launcher, but you can still do games on Iron Man. And it also prevents stupid Steam changes or whatever, disabling mods and whatever. We'll see. I hope the mod is not going to be conflicting with other mods, otherwise I'm, I'm going to have to uh, take the stream now.
So yeah, less fun, no RNG. It still says play. For the love of God. It seems like it's still not enabled, man. I don't know how to play this mod, actually. It should be on. Maybe, maybe it was on already and I just didn't know it. Normally, mods like that will prevent Iron Man. But it was not grayed on, so I don't know what's happening here. I should probably read the mod description. Or something. Normally you should have more Monarch points and, and less whatever. This just seems like normal game. Oh well. Let me take a look at that. Uh... So this is the mod that I'm talking about. Let me see if in the description if there's if it says how to play it. Because yeah, we enabled it, but I don't see it. I don't see it working. So core aims of the mod is to reduce the effect of RNG. Rebalance the economy and the growth scaling, which it will improve the mid-game. And just basically fine-tuning idea groups, balance, and what and what not. It makes the rebels less tedious, and it makes the the small nations and the AI less of pushovers. So. I don't even know. It cannot be Iron Man compatible, right? So why is it not working? I am I am really not. It should be easy to check. Yeah, but what do I got to do then? Disable all my other mods? And then just try... To make this work, it, it's on the mod in the launcher. So I, no, well maybe we should just check if uh, if anything changed. I don't know. Let's check in the ledger. Something like I don't know force limit. Uh, I, I don't know, man. If I can start the game on Iron Man, I don't think the mod is active, right? You're just getting achievements on auto. Oh, Iron Man has never disabled my mod. You just get achievements on Iron Man. Interesting. But yeah. How do I even know then? Monarch points are getting changed. Hmm. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is actually changed. Hi there, Cheek. See you, King. Yeah, I'm trying out your mod, man. If the base value is 5, then it's working, right? But Because normally this is 3. Normally this is 3, so your mod is working, see you, King. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out if your mod was on. I was trying to figure out if your mod is on. Oh, well, let's just try out Savoy into Toothpaste then. Right, so, 1444, great. Do we uh, need to actually uh, set somebody else's uh, interesting nation? Yeah, probably be Venice. Is that, do you think, uh, this is very hard, do you think Savoy is a good choice then? I hope it is. Doesn't know how mods work, oh come on chat, I never tried out any mods that change the gameplay. I never tried it out man. Am I going for toothpaste? Yep. Yes, we are trying out that mod that, uh, that I was talking about, Jake Lones, that CU King made and he's actually in here also. So yeah, let's just try it out, I guess. It's a Dini appeared man, so I need to bash Aragon as soon as possible and probably get an alliance with uh, somebody. So let's see. Who can I... Uh, who can I... I cannot actually do Aragon from the start. Watch Switzerland dismantle me. Oh, shoot. No. Who had rivaled me, you said? The Titanic Order. Okay. Wait, Burgundy rivaled me? Oh my god. Okay, everybody hates this chat. Woohoo! 
Yeah, well, if I, I can probably rival Burgundy than an ally uh, France. Let me see about that. Ah, sure, why not? They want to marry me, so sure. So, uh, wait. Wait, oh, France does not even see Burgundy as a rival. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, who wants to ally me from the start? Let's see. Only Milan. Hmm. Ah, sure, why not? I could use Milan temporarily. Why not? So let's go for that immediately. But that Burgundy... I don't like it, man. Especially because France does not see them as a, a problem. Who uh, did Austria? They actually are going for France. Hmm. No, how does Austria think about a marriage? I think I might actually go for them instead of uh, France. Do we have a dip rep guy? Yeah. So there, and I'll immediately get in the pants of the Holy Roman Emperor. There! I hope that's some good starting diplomacy. Time to dine us. Basically, I'm trying to ally Milan to prevent Ambrosian Republic. There's always a small chance that you can actually get a union over uh, Milan or Leon. It's, uh... It, it needs some... some Basically, I think you got like, I don't know, 5 or 10% chance. It depends on, on the older Roman Emperor dying and the Pope dying a couple times. So Milan actually ends up in the tier where you can get a free union. It's, or even where you get inherited Milan. Where you can inherit Milan. It's possible, but yeah. It's a tiny chance. It's a chance, with Ron. I like playing the union game. Anyways. At the start... Um, I could try kissing up to England. I know, right? But yeah, that might lead me to war with uh, with France early on. Hmm. I think Burgundy is the biggest threat. If they make actually uh, a claim, I could be done for. Provence is actually allied to France, as usual, and rivaled me. Oh well. I suppose we should just uh, improve with Austria now. Hmm. I could always reconquest the Swiss also. There I like France. Oh, come on, Swiss! Uh, in my game, Burgundy inherited Milan as a PU. Yeah, what about it? Do you know what happens to Burgundian inheritance? Just like everything else, man, the Emperor gets all the stuff that France does not want. Basically, uh, wait, it depends on when it happens. I think if it happens before 1490, then the Emperor gets it all. And if it doesn't, I, I, it might actually change out to 14. I, I didn't really think about that yet. France might actually get all of it for free. I, I don't know, I'm no specialist about Burgundian inheritance, man, but I think if it happens when, when the HRE, it's, it, the, the Emperor gets all the HRE land, right? So if it happens before 1490, I think the Emperor gets it all. If it happens after 1490, I think France gets it all. If they inherit Milan. I have seen the Emperor, uh, an Emperor Castile inherit Burgundy, and they got the uh, Milan territory. I've seen that in some campaign. I don't know which one anymore. Oh well. Bergen is a threat when he isn't in the HRE. I don't know, man. It all depends on who Austria will ally. It depends. Everything depends in this game. Right. Hmm. No. Oh, well. I should be building up the force limit also, I guess. Just stay there. there. Oh, pa, 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 pa. oh, and I totally forgot my estates. Blah. I really am not used anymore to starting with anything less than a one province minor. 
Ah, uh, think. Hmm. We are sitting on no centers of trade, right? Oh well, do I even buy? I could use the points. Hmm. Wait, don't we start with the? F what happened to the forts? Now oh, I noticed that, of course. Huh, I could have sworn Savoy starts with a fort on Wallace, but guess not. Hmm. I didn't know that. I thought they always started with one. Guess I was wrong. Well, building a fort in here should be priority. Then. Is this use mod? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I got no clue what... We're just trying it out. Blind. It's supposed to be changing uh, a hell of a lot of stuff. More monarch points, uh, giving the, the tiny nations more force limit and whatnot. So, uh, I'm just trying to get some stuff going here. Hmm, I could try setting some uh, rivals. So, let me see. Allying the Pope might not be a bad idea against Provence. So, did you ally somebody yet that I... Ah, but he rivals me lying. God darn it. Not good. He got banned on you. Oh, he's here, man. Yeah, he got banned on YouTube. Probably by some stupid algorithm. I don't know. It was not a direct ban, so I'm, I'm having high hopes that he can just get its uh, account reinstated unless somebody uh, makes a real fuss out of uh, making funny nations of colonial nations that could be interpreted as racial slurs and whatnot. I, I really don't know what, what YouTube has as a policy on that one. But I'm pretty sure uh, it, uh, YouTube actually can get you, can ban you just because you, you have Jewish in your title and, and kill Jewish or whatnot. Or the Jewish one fate. I think Siu King actually said something about that. That he was actually doing a one fate as, as Jewish, and that the algorithm mis misinterpreted one of his uh, whatever, something like that. I don't know the. I I don't know Siu King what actually uh, the algorithm is. So I hope you uh, get your account reinstated, buddy. That's all I'm gonna say. Wait, what? And they they misinter they misinter they, they misinterpreted that, didn't they? Gojim gets you banned by algorithm, but that's stupid because Gojim is actually oh well, never mind, never mind. I see now why you uh, <laughs> why you got issues with that. Stupid algorithm. That's what I thought. It's just a stupid algorithm. That's what it is, isn't it? Oh well. I could, could make a claim on Burgundy. Uh, they don't have big allies, but it's it's doubtful that actually... Well, it, it all depends as usual if the Pope... The Pope did not rival Provence. So the usual setup where uh, Burgundy declares on Provence with uh, excommunication is likely not going to happen. So France is not likely... To jump into a war with Burgundy. So if France does not do that. Hmm. God darn it, man. Diplomacy over here is not easy. I need to I need to predict what is gonna happen here. Don't tell me this. They would ex. No, France is not interested in my land. Luckily enough, so he cannot accept promise of land. So Switzerland cannot call in uh, the France on promise of land. That's something. So the, the, the Swiss are likely not going to attack. Not well, likely. Hmm. What about Genoa? Allied to Florence. Not sure. I should be getting some more allies, but I kind of don't know who. Wait, what? <laughs> Castile is not rivaling Aragon either. You're kidding me, right? 
They love each other. This is actually a, a campaign where Castile might ally Aragon. Oh, come on, King. Ugh. Ugh, I say. Uh, it all depends. Do they see us threatened by France? Yeah, they do. Okay. I might go for uh, improving with uh, Castile also then. Fine. Damn. And we'll just uh, see what now. What they want to do. Castile ally. <laughs> Castile allying Aragon is so wrong. Ugh. What's next? Ah, well. What's next? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Retro, could you make a command with, that actually leads to the mod and maybe change the title that actually uh, leads to this one? Or, or maybe change the EU4 mods command, man, if you please. Just so that people can actually still see my mod list and that one that we're trying. If it's not too much to ask. But yeah, uh, that's the one we're using, uh, Critipi. The more uh, RNG, the less RNG, more fun mod. I don't see uh, them flipping, unfortunately. Okay, and now they're gonna break it then? <laughs> Aragon and England. It would be fun if Aragon gets an immediate union over Castile. <laughs> I wonder about the odds. So yeah, first impressions of the mod, you got more money. Basically, you got more money. Normal nations are not even able to go up to force limit. Now, oh, well, I wonder if I should be messing around with the states to get tech 4 Funa. Hmm. Can I actually uh, immediately do that? Oh, it's already assigned. Okay, then I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot then. So there. Send an emissary to the Pope. 67. Ah. Uh, no, well, there. Let's get some admin also. And the burgers. Yeah, well, I could I could just give one uh, province, like, I don't know, Nice to the burgers. Because why not? Is there anything else that is. Uh, no. I'll just give them a, a holiday. Oh, that's held by the nobles. Oh, crap. There is no province that is actually held by them, is there? Hmm. I could move something away from the nobles, but that will piss them off, of course. What about the clergy? Yeah, they're holding that. But I can't give that to the nobles, so meh. Oh, Cuneo. Cuneo to the uh, merchants might actually solve stuff. Oh, well. So there. There. Uh, admirable. Ah, why not? So there and there. Continue. Austria is not flipping friendly. Castile is not flipping friendly. You are gonna marry me soonish, though. That's what I was hoping for. Wait, what? What are you trying to do there, Retrog? E4 mods, edit mods? Something went wrong there. I think you just need to do E4 mods. <sighs> How does that work again? Oh well. I right, to Portugal only now.
Yeah, it's commands edit E for mods. Or edit com. Yeah, okay. Thanks, chat. Okay, so France does go to war against England. I wonder if Burgundy is going to have the guts to declare on France while they're doing the, the war. I don't know. They don't start with claims. Ottomans entered an alliance with Aragon. Oh my god, come on. Seriously? Ugh. Oh, it could be good and bad. Shoot, man. And I was gonna. I need to kill Aragon basically for Sardinia being mine and also uh, Genoa. No. Burgundy is always ballsy, yeah, and they usually die because of it. Florence. Nah, I couldn't have done. The other guy. Wait, where's my general? Did I not ask a general from the nobility? No, we don't have the, uh, the things for that. No. Oh. Nobody's flipping friendly at the moment. Nah, nothing changed. Hmm. Still wonder if flying Burgundy back as a rival would help the danger in the English. What's the mod being used? It's uh, it's in the E4 mod command. Well, it's, it's actually tempting to get rid of all the... Uh, yeah, it's E4 mods, I think it is. Normally you could start with the mods command, right? That, that one didn't get effed up, I hope. Yeah, so you need to type E4 mods. That's the one we're doing. Oh, Austria flip friendly. Okay. What about Castile? Not yet. No. So now that he, uh. So now what? Hmm. It's tempting to just go for uh, the Swiss now, but I don't think that France will ever uh, dishonor the war. No, I like to Florence, and Florence is being excommunicated. So, hmm, I could make a claim on Florence. Their only ally is Genoa. And then just make Genoa full core belligerent so he doesn't call in his uh his trade buddies. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for that. You could vassalize Florence maybe and ah it's gonna be too much, but yeah, get getting some more power over here. I'm just gonna gamble here. We're gonna build a spa network and we're gonna fabricate on Florence and hope. The situation stays as is. Oh shoot, yeah, but he's in a republic, so excommunication is actually only gonna work. Ah. Uh, mm. Start with claims first? Oh well. I suppose you're right. But that alliance with, uh, with Castile is on, man. Oh, is it? 20 se so 25 or so, so 6 more reasons. Actually, it's not, isn't it? It's just gonna be... It's gonna be, uh... I think it's just is not gonna be on. Teutonic Order Rival Provence. No oh, well. so. Okay. 
So right, uh, marketplace. Hmm. It's tempting to actually just hoard my my admin points and quickly go for uh, diplomacy. I need diplomatic basically as a first idea, as usual, especially over here. So yeah, l let's take a look at what what the uh, the mod actually changes. National I all the ideas got changed basically. I don't know if it's uh, if it's gonna be big the changes or not. I don't exactly know what the changes are, but it seems like uh, nothing too uh, nothing too drastic. So yeah, see you King if you're still here. What exactly did you folks change about the uh, about the idea groups? I don't see that radical changes, but it might be some. It might be. Uh, let me guess. You're actually gonna make exploration and uh, and maritime ideas and whatnot better. Exploration, eh? Okay. So what did you folks change over there? Colonial reigns, global settlers. Hmm. You can get four colonists now. Interesting. Ah, well, that's a good change. Did you folks change naval idea? Ah, oh, well, I don't even know. You, the original idea groups that well, because we always take the same. Ninety-one. I don't know, man. Come on, flip friendly, damn it. Nah, it's not gonna be on. It's like, ah. Eh? God darn it. Boundary dispute. You get a claim on Rolf Sure. Yeah, but wait. Ah, oh, wait. No, no. It's Swiss having cores on us, not vice versa. Yeah. Okay. I'm an idiot. Ugh. I just don't play these type of nations, so I don't even remember. Oh, so claim on you. Let's start with that. Ah, uh, so 99. Come on. Ah, oh, for the love of all that's fracking holy, man. I despise when that happens. There, let's hope that is enough. Uh, <laughs> angry streamer noises. What do I gotta do? Fracking gift you or what? No, well, we can hope that that one point. Use the advisors? I, I already got a diplomacy guy. I'm making more money? Yeah, but I'm already wasting mil. Oh, hush you. Come on, man. Hmm. No, it's fine as it is now. Let me see if that one is going to be enough. I could probably just send, uh, but yeah. We should have done the prestige before this, man. The prestige insult. That would have been enough, but now it's... Nah. Just not enough. But oh well. I don't think a normal insult actually gives you... Uh, no. Ah. Increase the force? Yeah, but you're already at force limit. No, oh well, fine. We could just do a casual uh, two or three. I'll just try making two more troops and see if it actually has an influence. Oh, I hate when this happens, man. It's just a fraction of a point. Fraction of a goddamn point. Now, oh, and also uh, make a claim on... Uh, I don't know. Probably Provence. Siena getting involved? Yeah, sure. So there, and who else? Ah... Uh, Burgundy, I guess. You never know if they're gonna get stomped. Oh, still not enough. Claim Switzerland we have. We have. I just need... I just wanna get that alliance, man. A waste of money, but oh well, this is very hard on a mod, and I don't know, so I want to focus on getting some allies here. 
Ah, finally. Dead in. Trustworthy allies, yes. It's really tempting to just get rid of all the estates now and just use my uh, the, the troops we got too many to use that on them. Because yeah, reasons, I could use a general and whatnot. And just giving this to the estates is pointless, right? So yeah, we're just gonna do that and then just revoke it. <laughs> Probably not optimal, but oh well, we got the most crappy general ever, of course, a 305. Ah. How is my air? I could make the air ally the mini nation. Oh yeah, you're right, I guess. You're right. You're not wrong there. I just don't like estates sitting on my land here. No sorry. Get out of here. Anything else that is probably... Yeah, clergy over here also makes no sense. I should build a fort there and give it to the nobles in the end. But oh well. That to the burgers also kind of makes no sense, but... Nah. I can wait. Just the no thrashing the nobles out is good enough. So there. Is that enough? No. Ah uh, well. Maybe I should just thrash them all out. Because we are over the force limit, I should use it on something, right? I should use it on something. Well, I don't think that the... Um, I don't think it's necessary. I could get the burgers out of here. Oh well, the, it's better to do this early on than to do it later. So let's just piss them all off, I guess. Do we still have anything else? Yeah, let's go fight and vote. Is the comma in the wrong place? Ah, oh, you can always edit the title if you feel like it's, uh, that it's bad. Damn. How many, uh, do we have? How many forces do we have? 15, right? Okay. Anything else? Uh... We have two clergy provinces? No, not anymore, right? Okay. So there. Ah oh well. Fourteen. I could just get rid of two, I guess, now. Okay, all the estates pretty much gone while still maintaining high... Uh, so good, good. Should have probably gotten something else out of it. I'll just delete two troops, sub this. I might even kill the uh, the cavalry. But nah, there, and continue. I don't know if I should be integrating more for rough, fast, 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 because yeah, that minus three dip rep could hurt early on. Okay, so who did Aragon ally apart from the Ottomans? Manfa. Interesting. <laughs> the Ottomans allying, uh, that is kind of wonky, but oh well. Hmm, maybe I could check now that the Ottomans seem to be, uh, I don't think the Ottomans will ever dishonor that. But I could make a claim on Aragon. And just see if Castile... How does Castile feel about Aragon now? This probably... Ah, now it's hostile. Okay, so they were friendly at the start, but then Aragon claimed the throne of Castile and they were like... Rage! Aha! Perfect. Yeah, rival each other like you should. Thank you. Is there any chance of an early Iberian wedding? No. Oh, Castile is airless, chat. Okay, sure. Aragon might actually have it. This, that's not good. Uh, oh well. Could you kindly produce an heir? Uh, 
shoot. Rivals of each other can still get defensive succession war just because of sharing dynasty. It's not because they rivaled each other that Aragon can't get the union here. Just kind of eh. Okay, Florence excommunicated yet again. Aragon going for Tunis. Burgundy has announced Venice. Okay. I can work with that. Let's study that. Does Austria see Venice as a threat? Probably not. They are hostile. Okay. Does Venice see Milan as a threat? No. Yeah, they do see Aragon. Uh, I should be going for... Uh, I should be going for improving with Venice at some point. But that is... Uh, the Ottomans are going to declare on Venice and that is going to get me involved. So, uh, Hmm... Yeah, they're airless. I really... I, and I can't do anything about it. I'm not bigger than... Uh, it's basically because they are sharing dynasty and because Aragon is so big that I'm not getting the union here. But Portugal, is, I think, is bigger than me, so... Uh, no, it's not even going to flip to uh, Portugal. Oh, well. What can I say? Right. Uh, so, let me see. Still only allied to Genoa, eh? Does Milan rival? No. And it's a diplomat. So he does not see it as vital. Very, very interesting. Hmm. There, there. I cannot use you versus any of these. Just trying to uh, look at a first target here. So Genoa would join. Did Genoa actually ally somebody else? No, only Florence. Did Aragon lose the claim? That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, chat. Um, rivaling an AI. It's basically uh, because a new guy actually took the throne that he lost his claim. But no, you can you can maintain a claim on on. Let's say that Castile is allying Aragon, and that they got a mutual, uh, a mutual royal marriage. Then Aragon claims the throne, even if Castile then breaks uh, the royal marriage, and even if they then rival each other, the claim will still be there. It claims you cannot bypass your throne being claimed by removing the royal marriage. The only thing that that is going to change that is actually Aragon uh, getting uh, or whoever initiated the royal marriage dying. Unless they change that. Bitch, I die. But anyways, uh think. Think, 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 think. I don't know. France will likely never dishonor that. Yeah. Nope. Hmm. I don't know if anything changed about the favor system doesn't look like it. Uh Lucky Luca yeah, Lucky Luca is a, a trade city at the start, right? Okay. A free city, rather. No, they're not. Interesting. Albania, Ferrara, and the Papal State. Okay. I'm just trying to look for an opening here. Genoa has announced Savoy. Yeah, that's what I thought. If the claimant breaks the royal marriage himself, you lose the claim. Yeah, but I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I should have said that. Uh, yeah, of course, if you break the royal marriage yourself, you lose the queen. But if the if if Aragon was the initi uh, g the uh, g took the initiative on doing the marriage, and if Castile then breaks the uh, the royal marriage, you do not lose the claim, as far as I know. Right? Or am I just an idiot here? Oh, anybody else that I totally didn't see that I should be going for. We got Austria and, and Castile, so we should be quite safe. 
I don't know about that Genoan war, man. If I rival Genoa, who would love that? The Pope, Crimea, and Provence. Nah, the Pope, we can't do that because right, allying the Pope would have been handy, but yeah, he hates that guy. He hates uh, this guy. Milan is still airless. Ah, ah, look at that, chat. Look at that. The Pope actually died enough. Savoy and Mantua. We're triggered for succession war here. Okay, die, please die. No, and now let's hope this works, man. The Pope died enough to actually uh, shift the tier to succession war over Milan. That's good. Okay, fingers crossed, chat. Actually flagged, so I should not get Milan into a war then. Let's take a look at the force limits. I, I'm pretty sure this mod actually changes force limits, so uh, let me see about the guys we want to actually kill here, meaning Genoa and Florence. How many do they have? 14,000 alone in uh, Genoa, and Florence actually has 60. I need help on this one. I can't do that. The Pope can die again and derp up. Usually... Uh, he, he can die twice before succession war goes away. Then it'll change back to... Uh, but, but we'll see. It all depends. I should make the Pope an interesting guy. Just to see when he's... Uh, just to see when he's going with it. But going for Genoa is the best possible idea here. But... Mm, I don't know about it. I don't see myself defeating Florence and the other guy here. Maybe if we can get Tech 4 early. Ah, Florence already has it. God damn it, man. Now, yeah, well, I don't. Not just make some more claims. Something needs to change here. Genoa needs to get involved into some war, or Florence into some war, and then we might have our chance. But I can't defeat them both here. What about you? France and Manfred? France is not gonna disarm. They're just not. I'm trying to look at more diplomacy here, but I suppose a claim on Lucky Looker might help. I could make on Siena also, but he's yeah, he's part of the Genoa Trade League. It is possible to get the PU before the Republic of Enfires? Yes, it is. I'm flagged for it right now. But also, Red Ryan, there's also a small chance you inherit the... Like 5 to 10% chance. It's on. The Pope dies again, or if Austria dies, we might see them ending up in tier 2 where we inherit them. But it all, it's all dependent on the role that I did at the start of the game. It's an interesting... It, it's, it's, it's such a complicated system. But there was actually... I don't know if it was in my World Marriage Guide thread. There was a discussion on, on the forums not too long ago. What basically is the chance to inherit Milan? Flat out. And people did all sorts of calculations on it. I, it, it. I didn't know what they were talking about. It was really complicated. Oh, well, I'm just going to continue with making claims, claims, claims everywhere. I kind of would want to vassalize Florence, but it's kind of uh, unlucky that the Pope is not seeing, that the Pope is seeing them. Okay, so, hi there. It's still a diplomat, and it still doesn't see me as vital. Good. I'm really afraid that Switzerland calls in the France on me, but oh well. Now that we've got an alliance with Castile and uh, Austria, I sincerely doubt they're gonna do that. There. We are, we are in no rush before 1490 in this area. The only real land I should be going for is either Aragon, France, France, or anything else. Bashing up HRE terrain before 1490 is only, uh, yeah. It's not optimal, to say the least. So yeah, right, now what? Are the Ottomans actually dishonoring? Probably not. No. I should make a claim on Aragon, man. We can do it. We can make a claim on uh, Sasari here. Come on, die. Oh, when he got in there, you gotta be kidding me, man. Ah, oh, why does this always have to be the case if I'm trying to do the Union game, man? Another dynastic event for a female. Well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, well. It just didn't happen, chat. And Castile, watch Castile going on the Raragon and then I'll rage. Ugh. I would rage, man. I don't think we can go for Tech 5. Nah, before we got it. Oh, well, I'll just take Tech 4. Then. Fine, whatever. That means the Republic is almost guaranteed. Yep. We were just unlucky. Can't do anything about it. Can't do anything about it. What can I say, chat? It happened. It's not my fault, right? Castile of view on the France. I don't know about that one because, yeah, Aragon is allied to the Ottomans. So if France actually want to contest that union, they might actually say no. They might say no, man. Yeah, Red Rocket, th that's true, but it depends if France will actually take... If France will actually do it. It depends. I really hope that Castile now goes for... Uh, now that Grenada has lost an alliance, I really hope that Castile is going to go to war over... Uh, when does that truce end again with... Uh, uh, ah, it's already gone. Yeah, okay. Good, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I love saying yes. I've seen them not doing a lot, man. It kind of depends. It really depends. Anyways, is there somebody else we should try it out on? England is actually airless, so yeah. <laughs> but they're... Uh, I basically, I don't think I can mess around with anybody here. Oh, stupid Irish. No thanks. Sorry if any Irish is watching, but yeah, no. Serbia. 29. Now forget about it. I'm just gonna chill out, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna take down my uh, army. It's basically... Uh, no, oh, how much difference is there? I think we are safe from invasion here. So let's just uh, build up, do a slow start. Oh yeah, right. Uh, looky looka. Uh, Okie dokie. Anybody else I need to claim on chat? You gotta claim on Florence so we can find Florence and you know uh Siena maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should go for two claims on Florence on Provence, man. Sure I guess. Or we could go real ballsy and claim France. Uh, well, actually, if France takes that, then Castile might actually... Hmm... Well, I don't, that would be ballsy, that looks... Brittany, Provence, and Switzerland. Well, it would solve all... <laughs> yeah, well, why not? I'll just get a claim on France also. Why not? There. Who cares, right? Did anything change so far about who we can uh, rival? No, no, really. I never rival anybody until we invade. It's pointless. Can I get any power projection anyways early on? It prevents with uh, diplomacy. Tosses him. No, we're just gonna wait. See what happens. God, despise Milan, not... Uh, Getting an air down. Oh, that Castile. I don't like it. Castile, go to war. Oh, wait, wait what? Oh, wait. Did not, uh, I did not mark Castile as an interesting nation. So, yeah, right. What I simply do not understand is why. Why does Castile get. It seems that there's something wonky going on. 
With nations having unions. Oh wait, no. I don't understand this. Why is it still trust him, Mara? He is airless. I don't get it. Why is Portugal not spreading their dynasty in here? Well, I don't know. They changed something about... I, I don't know if it's a tooltip error. It might be a tooltip error, but normally that shouldn't be Trostamara anymore. I think it is actually, as long as there is the same dynasty nation around, like Aragon, that a trust tomorrow will always take the throne no matter what, unless some of the royal marriage partners actually grow bigger than Aragon. But it didn't used to be that, that way. Normally you could change the dynasty from Castile or Leon, but I think they, they changed something, because that's not normal. It might actually be so that until Aragon is actually beaten down, that you can't change the dynasty in Castile. No. Oh. Uh, well, so there. <laughs> Wait, the rival in the lot. How's the moon? Wait, what? Hmm. So we can get Castile in on this, but yeah. It, it would be really beneficial for us because he sees Castile not as vital. I could make all this vital and then just leave Navarre. Uh, to give to him. It would be a good idea, man. But yeah, the Ottomans. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Albania killed... Sk yeah, Albania is going places. But yeah, I don't expect him to survive. I don't know, man. The Naples... Uh, the Neapolitans will overrun us of it immediately. So, uh... Me going for Aragon right now with the help of Castile? I don't know. I don't know. So what do we do now, man? Psh. What about Venetia? Nah. They are still seeing Milan as a... Uh, I don't know. Is Milan an awfully awfully? I wonder if Austria would actually uh, get in on this. Doesn't look like it. So Austria is not seeing Burgundy as vinyl, let alone seeing the land. Uh, I just don't see an opening here, man. Nothing is moving around here, so... Uh, oh well. How does France... Yeah, they see each other as rivals. So uh, in theory I could now uh, declare on, uh, on France. I really wouldn't want to go for Provence first, but yeah, it's not going to be on. Oh well. Normally, Provence gets excommunicated, but we are unlucky here that Fr that Provence did not rival uh, the Pope and back. Otherwise, we would have had an opportunity because then, if Provence uh, gets excommunicated, then Burgundy attacks and Burgundy goes to war against France. France dishonors Provence, and we eat Provence. That's the usual opening, but it's just not on now. Oh well, I'll just improve with my vassal here. And hope we get an opening. Let me double check if uh, France does not see us. Nope. Okay. I do not like those Swiss on my border. Get out of here. Full annexation. Okie dokie. Hmm. Ah, th this is gonna be next to uh now they do see that as vinyl. Not this time. Yeah. A war against Aragon would really, really uh, be good. 
just give Castile one province, but yeah. I don't know about it, man. I need some numbers on that. I think uh, Naples in itself might already be a huge force limit. It's like 12,000 already. Yeah, I don't, if they weren't allied to the Ottomans, Steve, I would have gone for uh, Aragon, no questions asked. I would have done it. But now? I don't know. I don't know. We might be able to pull it off, but... Eh. The Ottomans is at war. Far, far away. And it's see, and as long as the Great Horde is involved, it might actually take ages for them to finish that war, so... Oh, it's tempting. We could do a uh, Manfa ourselves. Hmm. No, how many troops does Aragon have? I'm tempted to do it, sad the Ottomans. But yeah, knowing the AI, they're just gonna fuck up against Aragon. <coughs> so yeah, about that. Too risky. I can't hold this front on my own, the eastern front. Then Castile, yeah, well. I actually wonder about the odds of Castile declaring on uh, this guy themselves. They don't have a claim on Aragon, so they're not gonna do it. I should be watching if the Great Horde or would not ever makes the, uh, the Ottomans dishonor that war, but I sincerely doubt it. Should just check it out. Nah, forget about it, man. Florence and, and Genoa still look like the best shot here. The Ottomans are just no reasons whatsoever. No. Oh well. I think declaring on Aragon now is suicide. Can't even get this, can I? Oh, well, seems like we're just gonna have to tack up again. Yes. And I might actually shift my. Uh, I think I'll go for that one instead. Sure. And sure, well, probably do distant. And now... How fast are we building those favors with you? Every two years. I should be doing all the claims we can get. Is, did I forget somebody? No, I don't think so. No, well, we could try actually uh, figuring out a third ally here. Hmm. Maybe use Burgundy against France. It's not impossible that they flip friendly. But yeah. That's a balanced guy. How do you feel about each other now? Burgundian attitude towards France is friendly. Oh, <laughs> come on. Theory craft, theory craft, and every goddamn plan is, is having a flaw here. I just don't see an opening but Florence, but I can't do that on my own. Temporary alliance with somebody that might actually accept promise of land on here? The Pope, man, but ah! I, can, I just can't do the Pope. 
Not unless we break a line, so we on. Well, maybe I should, and just improve with the Pope. It's never a bad idea to improve with the Pope for points, so let's do it. Does Milan even have any other allies apart from me? No. So that's a, actually... The moment Venice actually goes for a claim here, I should get rid of her. I should temporarily check this. Milan doesn't seem to be the best ally around. Promise him land and then I give him Jack. Not a hell of a lot moving here. Yes. I don't mind slow starts. I hope you folks also don't mind. Oh, that Castile is still airless, man. Bohemia, 26 years old. Who are you, allies? Augsburg and Frankfurt. That's very interesting. What tier are you in? Oh, he just got an air. Never mind. He's getting an air before my eyes, man! The audacity. He's like, uh oh, Alex is looking at us. Okay, let's use those lines. He was young, so it was never on, basically. No. Come on, Ottomans. Did I make you an interesting nation? No, and I should probably make the Mamluks. No, now that uh, the guy is actually uh, allied to the uh, Aragon, we should be uh, focusing, making them interesting. No. Oh, well. It's highly likely now that Denise, that Aragon has all their troops over here. So I could fight a war, but... Uh. I need to, the, Aragon, the Ottomans to dishonor that. There is no other, no other way, I think. Nobody has the audacity to go sit on uh, Well, somebody is on his fort. Let me check it again. I seem silly that the Ottomans will dishonor that, but... Let's check it out, nevertheless. Ah, 13. Oh. Basically nothing going on in here, man. It's insane. No wars in Italy whatsoever, apart from uh, Venice going for, for that stuff. Hmm. I wonder if uh, Milan would have the guts to declare on Venice. That's also a uh, danger here. No, oh, they got wiped out. Oh well, if the Ottomans go for the, uh, Albania, I think I might consider that. Then he will dishonor, right? Usually, it's a big usually, but we'll see, I guess. Oh, Pope man, it's not impossible that an AI wants to ally you, and that he flips friendly, even if you're allied to his rival. No. Just check it out. There goes uh Mala there goes uh Naples. So yeah, anybody else we should be uh I'm just a little bit scared about allying Venice. Sooner or later the Ottomans are gonna go for them. Burgundy is friendly towards France, so me. Eh? Ah, well, now that he has a balanced personality, he might just be... Hmm. 
I am I bur Burgundy and then ask him on promise of land versus France. Nah. I'm gonna get thrice. Burgundy always gets thrice. But then what? If not that, then I don't know it anymore. Should we be going for improving with anybody that is airless? Papal State Annex Turbino. Okay. Sure. It doesn't flip friendly, of course. Ah, well, you know what? I think I'm going to improve with Burgundy. See what happens. Does Burgundy see... Uh, burn as vital? No. Steel is still airless, man. Don't make me just fire that war. Ugh. Don't make me fire that war just to keep uh, Castile from uh, falling on the Raragon. That would be so bad for us. If you want an AI to get an air, he doesn't get one. If you don't want an AI to get an air, now well, you get the idea. Oh, actually, there. I should have done uh, recruit minister before this shoot. We're never gonna be able to uh, to do that. Burgundy declaring on England. Okay, sure. Why not? Go, buddy. So, what are the odds of me? No. I don't think that's gonna work. Hmm. <laughs> the Pope just keeps on excommunicating whoever. Oh uh, well. Oh, see, wait, you can't promise... Oh, I totally forgot that. So you can't promise the Holy Roman Emperor land inside the HRE. Huh. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, something new. Uh, maybe I should have gone for France instead of... Uh, but yeah, Castile is just a better ally to use versus Aragon. Uh, I'm locked in here, man. I see no option. I see no options whatsoever what to do. It's been 10 years of uh, doing nothing, basically. Hmm. Oh, let's get that second claim on Provence now, I guess. Ah, oh, Castile, please get an air, buddy. Hmm. Wait, why is Portugal at war with... But what? Oh, yeah, 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 because of uh, England. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Austria, uh, Portugal alone versus Burgundy. I don't know, man. This might be the time to actually declare on Burgundy. But, yeah, but... If England actually makes both of the Irish dishonor, I could consider that. It all depends what England does in the war. But yeah, me, me alone versus Burgundy with like 70k troops is probably not a good idea. 
Ah, uh, well, he doesn't have that much, does he? 33? It's less than I thought. Hmm. Okay, let me briefly uh, take a look at this thing. I just don't know if I should be hugging the burgundy guys or, or destroy them here. So Desmond and Awfully Awfully is still doing that. Influencing. Okay. Ah, it seems like the English are derping out on defense as usual. Oh well. They did actually uh, force the Irish out huh? sooner rather than later, but yeah. Hmm. Portugal thrill about a marriage and an alliance with me. Sure. I don't see any other uh, guys. And I sincerely doubt. Well, we could rival Burgundy and then and, and go for England. Or even the Frank and Danes, but yeah, Denmark. Ugh. What about Hungary, I wonder? Austria, Genoa, and Siena? Would you be, uh, probably too many, yeah, uh, too many relations, of course. So, now it happened. Ottomans going for Venice. And Aragon getting involved. Okay. Venice has almost no allies. So, yeah, they're gonna get thrice, but let's hope. It's gonna be, uh, Really big, let's hope. But let's hope Venice can uh, make the Ottomans dishonor. And then I will trigger the war. And Castile, don't tell me you're infertile. No. I really wonder. Nah, it's risky. I don't... We could get the same dynasty as Trastamara and me claiming their throne then. It would be on. And then... Castile might... It might flip to uh, Savoy versus Aragon in the succession war. I don't know about that, man. Killing my heir, it's not a bad idea. He's a piece of ass. But at 39, we could get talented at ambitious daughter. The moment we go 40. But I would need a war. Just to make sure that I don't fall in the union. But yeah, what war? Ugh. No, the war against Aragon, I guess. Yeah, if we're gonna do that war against Aragon, then Castillo's gonna be in a war. And then, oh man. Complicated. Get in air, damn it. Oh. Savoy so into two paste, indeed. And so far the mod is looking interesting. But yeah. It's uh It's going slow as as you should play it around here and just abide your time. But Aragon, my main target, actually allied the Ottomans, if you want to believe it. Ugh. Can you feel the difference? Not quite yet, no. But this mod is supposed to be changing uh, the mid-game more than the early game, I think. Oh, we're looking at a Castile who is airless here. And about to fall in the Union under Aragon. And I'm seriously considering... Claiming their throne if Trastamara spreads to me. But that's a lot of ifs and Back buts. Again. Maybe you can just stay and live here. Elmustache, that's a new sub. I don't know you, but 
thanks for uh, subbing with Twitch Prime. It's really appreciated. New viewer visiting the channel, I guess. Thanks, man. It's really appreciated. I hope you're uh, enjoying what you see. I was also looking at this as a first war and make Genoa full core belligerent, but I can't do that on my own. And Genoa just allied. Ah, uh, well. There's more and more options that are getting eradicated here. Oh, for the love of God. It happened. <laughs> fudge! Fudge, fudge, fudge. Great. Castile will not be a little by Aragon. Well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? Well, I suppose we could benefit from that. But now, uh, this is getting complicated. This is getting complicated now. I just lost an ally. And hungry Aragon. Well, we could try allying Aragon, I guess, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need this land to actually form toothpaste. And this entire mess is going to not make it easier. Ugh. Darn it. Damn, damn, double damn. Oh, man. Can you believe it? Aragon getting it. And Castile is likely going to be loyal in the end. Aragon is going to be a powerhouse if they get Naples and, and, and Castile integrated. Well, things got interesting now. I might actually have to turn to France now. But the problem is my, my other ally is the, uh, the Holy Roman Emperor. And he will uh, likely have too many... Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I need somebody to protect my sorry bum here. I might have to go kiss up on France now. There's no other choice. Well, it all depends. So let me, let me take a look at this war. What are the odds of France winning that? I sincerely doubt they will, though. Because Brittany is on the left flank, Switzerland is, uh... Ah, oh, wait, 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 no, France is allied to... Yeah, 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 so Switzerland and Brittany are actually in the war versus Aragon. Okay. I could go for Switzerland and then vassalize them, maybe. The moment France dishonors. Or, I could actually go for uh, Provence here the moment France dishonors. So I should get ready for war. I should get ready for war here. That's for sure. That entire... Uh, at least that mess with Aragon is gonna mean that uh, something on his, something of a chance is gonna open up. Period here. It's gonna open up. No questions asked. I should be going for Provence first and foremost. But Siena... How many troops does Siena have? Yeah, that will be very strong. Oh, well, we, we could help. Let's see, let me see. Uh, they got 12,000 on their own, man. Me doing this, I, I can't do this on my own. Uh, so, uh, well, l looking at Burgundy, I guess, and, and hope he accepts promise of land on Provence. Uh, I may be overlooking an option here, I gotta be careful. So yeah, Switzerland will likely be the best target now. Because France will be dishonoring. I, I don't see France winning that versus Aragon. But you never know. I need to improve with somebody that might protect my sorry bum now. Hmm. Ah well, I'm just gonna kiss up to France. Sub this. We might actually be able to sub both support the independence of Castile and then just destroy Aragon with it. But I don't know. So the Swiss are over there. I don't know, man. It's not like France is getting overrun here. Very interesting. What would be the odds that France actually steals away the Union? Yeah, it does that when he's able. Wait, what? Oh, like, ah, oh, Provence. Yeah, okay, I'm an idiot. This is pointless. 
This is pointless. Well, maybe we should bet on both horses here. I need either Burgundy, I think, or the other guy. Burgundy or France. I need an ally on my western flank here. Eat one or the other, basically. Because uh, having only the Austria as an ally is not going to work. The moment Austria gets into a war, they're going to jump me. Everybody. What is Aragon doing over there? Hi, right, get up! Why is he just standing there? Ah, well. Does Austria have the Union? No, not yet. They don't. Uh, Hungary... But they do have the, uh... They do have the Habsburgers. Well, so far, interesting campaign. Even though we have done nothing, but but yeah, you don't see Aragon leading against Castile every day. Well, okay, who's to say, man? Maybe even France might dishonor. I don't know. Manfa is should be dishonoring now. It's really tempting to actually check on um, on the Ottomans now if they're dishonoring or not. No. Oh, me declaring that war with Aragon standing right there is just a bad idea. But still, I should be watching it. Who's to say, man, that Spain, that France actually makes the Ottomans dishonor? As long as Castile is, uh, is uh, not having is having more than fifty percent liberty desire. They won't get involved. Hmm. Now, Aragon is actually not in a in a good position here. They're at war with so many people here. I don't know, man. So yeah, hey. France is actually surprisingly winning this war, from the looks of it. Well, it doesn't say that they are, but, you know, well, oh, Burgundy, don't tempt me. Uh. Okay, let me take a look at Burgundy chat. Burgundy has no troops, but yeah, even, I mean, uh, no allies anymore, but even there, PUs could just wreck me. Yeah, I forget about it. Could I do that on my own? I should have probably gone for France as an ally at the start, man. But yeah, they see each other as uh, hunky dory Burgundy and France. Which was why we didn't do it. Hmm. Just ignore him. Okay, there's uh, Aragon. Yeah, the Ottomans are also now in two wars, aren't they? No. Ah, shoot, man. They did. What? Why did France not in all the alliance? Come on. Piece of crap. Well, five between Aragon and France and there. And they're actually getting a... Uh... No. I don't know about it, man. France? Wait, what? Occupied by England? Fuck. Hmm. Okay, Austria is also allying Milan. That is good. So now we got a triple alliance block. Me, Savoy, and Milan. Uh, me... What am I saying? Me, Milan, and Austria, rather. Uh, this plan is not working. France is not getting its SARS kicked. So, uh, maybe I should just go for Burgundy, man. But it's impossible without Austria. Without Austria desiring land on Burgundy, this is just hopeless. I don't think they do. Nope. No, 
So basically we improved all we could with everybody. And part of them do not want me. Oh. There. Now, well, the moment France would actually dishonor Provence, they would marry me. <laughs> yeah, we might go for them, but it's all we might, we might, we might. There just needs to be... Somebody needs to go, basically, into dishonoring. Oh, budget and ability. Piedmont will come under control of the clergy. Oh, but I don't want anything to be under control of anybody. Favor near the party? Eh. There then. Ah, we need more loyalty for that. Boo hoo. I just need I wanna benefit from all this, but I see no way of doing it. Nobody so far is going into the Ottomans, so uh no, well, I don't see anything changing over here anytime soon. No, forget about it. The only real target is is Switzerland, but yeah, France needs this honor for that. I don't know. Could also improve with you. But I sincerely doubt he's gonna flip friendly. He has no reasons whatsoever to do so. I kinda not seeing anything I can do here. Apart from declaring on Burgundy, which is mighty risky. Oh, well, maybe I should do it. Uh, okay. I'll improve it in my vassal some more because reasons. And, uh... Well. Anybody else we could go for? Clan <laughs> Ricard. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, oh, okay. Why not? Let's go for the English. We might actually rival the, the uh, Burgundy and hope it works. Yeah, look at that. Holland alone has more force limit than me. I can't just declare I'm Burgundy. <laughs> no way. Oh, come on, somebody go invade the Ottomans now, please. Ugh. Forget about it, I guess. No, well. There's just nothing going on, and I'm sorry about it. But this, yeah, this is very hard, I can't do shit on my own. Could, but uh, I doubt it's wise. I may as well take my troops back down. I don't see anything happening here. That's actually tempting to uh, just disinherit my heir after we do any war now. We can't get talented and ambitious and really don't want this piece of ours. But, yeah. Oh, well, France is going up in debt. They likely only need a couple occupations before we can do anything, really. And I think I'm gonna go for uh, 
the usual diplomacy. Because, yeah, reasons. So there, and where do we put that diplomat at? They got the Union, no, just Saxony, interesting. I'm just gonna cycle all these guys now and see. No. We got Burgundy. Ah, that's on. I could get an alliance with the Calmer Union. But, yeah, but, hmm. It's my best shot apart from England. No, I suppose we can do it. No. So rivaling Burgundy might actually flip both. No, well, you know what? Sad Burgundy. We're just gonna juggle here. Dare. Oh, come on. I'm babbling buffoons. It's just not going to happen, man. France is not going to dishonor anything. Where is even Aragon's troops? What are they doing? Ah, it's still against the war in uh, Venice, probably. Yeah. Yes, we can get favors with Milan to do something. And then I might use Milan versus uh, Burgundy. But, yeah, but. I don't know about Fr uh, England, though, man. It's risky. The French might go for the English. It's basically a, a gamble. I need to predict what is going to happen. Uh, France might actually ally Burgundy here because they share England as a rival, right? So yeah, allying England is not the smartest of ideas. I could do France and Burgundy. If France really allies Burgundy, we might be able to use both versus Aragon. Show up a bit late for that now. Hmm. If, 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 and then buts, man. I'm very hard. Hi there, Swiss. Friendly. I need to make a decision now, man. To England or not to England? What do you folks think? I think Burgundy is just gonna... The moment I do that, Burgundy is just gonna ally France. And then I'm just effed. <laughs> and then Burgundy will invade me and, uh, and whatnot. With having only Austria as an ally... Portugal isn't dead, I think England is a bad idea. No. Okay, that's at least something. Who did England rival apart from uh, France? Scotland, eh? Hmm. Man, I don't know.
I'm just staring at Burgundy and France and thinking, yeah, they're gonna bang up against England. And if they then both declare versus England, I'm just done for. So I don't know about the English man, but it, they wanna ally me. Oh. Why does the AI force me to do it, man? Crud. What ruler types do we have in here? Diplomat. Yeah. That's gonna be a huge gamble, but I'm gonna do it. There. Now watch France ally in Burgundy. <laughs> Just because I did that. Oh well. We'll see. I'll take the eleven percent. Yeah, allying England. I know, right? I know. But having only Austria as an ally well, I'm not even counting Milan, Milan is crap. But no well. France? I don't know, man. If they actually if if they actually get the war target in Toledo, I don't know. France is making a good run for uh, a union on Castile here. Yes, they're gonna get it. It seems like Aragon is getting overrun here. Let me see. I need some numbers on Aragon here. How much are they in debt? That sort of thing. Already I got one low. It's less than I expected, but oh well. What about the French military situation? I need to predict what's gonna happen here. 18,000, 66,000 in Aragon. 46 is Castile still Alice? Ah, Alice. Disloyal, I mean? No, they're not, which is what I thought. So yeah, me declaring on Aragon now is too darn risky because of that stupid Castile. No, I'll... No, no, I'm just stuck here, man. I, see, I still see no opening. <sighs> France is not dishonoring anything. And I'm just stuck. No. If anybody has a plan, then do tell in chat. But I, I'm not seeing it at the moment. Oh, it's Max. I should be starting to max out people that I that I can in preparation of any strike that I'm gonna do whenever the chance I get. Hi there, Saibam. What's up, man? I'm trying out something new here. A ma that is supposed to change the mid game into something that is more good. Power base in Ireland? Ugh. I can't. Yeah, but. Uh, really now? No. Let's play the Union game chat. Why not? No, okay. I see. I see a target for Union gaming. Right there, Mr. Brunswick. Ah, England, yeah, England, I know. <laughs> I know. Ah, it's close. Oh, 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 we got nobles in France. Ah, hold the press. 
I don't think they can't verse, they still don't can't versus occupations, but they might force France into loans here. Yeah, that's getting close. That's getting close, actually. It's getting close. Who was I improving with Venice, right? No. I totally forgot about this, of course. Because I'm an idiot. Still don't have the war goals. Yeah, they're going for it though. So far, so good. Got me, got me three major powers as allies. So, not too bad. I might even be able to squeeze in Poland also if they haven't rivaled the. Ah, oh, they rivaled the Danes, of course. Oh. Hmm. Go to Poland. Ah oh, well. Do it anyways. Yeah, but man, what can I say, man? I, I'm hoping that it's actually going to be a okay, but I don't have high hopes, to be honest. Because yeah, I, I can totally see that Mercury were going totally wrong. I can totally see a lot of changes that they're going to do with with trade company in the wrong religion, like like England going Anglican and then just trade company and all all that. It's going to be way too overpowered. From what I've seen, there's issues with, with the, uh, there's issues with it. I just don't know if it's a good idea. How old are you? 46? I hope not. Just do that then. And let's just try meddling in, into uh, the PU game here. Watch them get in there the moment I actually fracking do that. So now what? Do you survive? Okay. Anybody else? I mean, we're playing toothpaste, Savoy. You're supposed to be diplomatic as Savoy. So we're just going to be diplomatic. Like it or not. Take our time. Do opportunistic strikes. And we're not. And uh, we got Ottomans approaching France from the looks. Ah, oh, no, wait. Okay, Aragon approached peace with the Swiss. Yeah, Navaya. <laughs> it used to be just a war simulator. But all these changes to the game just uh, take it more. Turn it more and more and watch paint dry because conquest is bad game. Oh, just look at that. France is actually gonna. They might actually make this work. They might make it work. If the Ottomans peace out, France might get the Union here, chat. So, for that matter, uh, I would really would have wanted. I would break my alliance gladly with that sucker, but you know what? Yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, was I improving with somebody else or, or doing some... Un oh, come on, they got an air, you're kidding me. Why is it always that a dynastic event has to happen two fracking moments after I marry somebody? Ugh. Angry streamer noises. Never any luck, man. So, ever since they, ever since they messed around with the uh, meantime to happen from all those dynastic events, you just can't get unions anymore. A any guy that is old and 
weak and feeble and, 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 and fertile just gets a dynastic event instead of just falling on a union falling on the reunion rather oh well I'm gonna just stop nagging about it I guess I'm just not gonna do it man now well France might get the union France might get it the moment the Ottomans piece it out We'll see. Ah, Come on, man. That took too long. Basically because of the Ottomans, it took too long. And now they don't have it. Oh well. Oh well. Ottomans has enhanced Burgundy. Wait, what? Hey, Ottomans, we share rivals. <laughs> what would be the odds of that, I wonder? I would gladly break alliance with Austria if the Ottomans would down like me. But whatever. Hmm. Hmm. No, why not? Let's try it out. Yeah, Navaya, what can I say, man? France announced Muscovy. Ah, oh, wait, Burgundy is no longer a valid rival? Gotcha. Well, that resets my uh, diplomacy options with both of them. So, yeah, hey, hello. Hmm. Very interesting all this, but yeah, we, it's 1463 and I haven't had a chance to do anything. Ugh. Everybody's protecting everybody. But Aragon, man, is gonna be a powerhouse now. They got a loyal Castile. Has anybody ever seen Aragon get the union over Castile and forming Forming uh, Spain, I haven't. They can, I suppose. <laughs> Only twice in all of your hours. I never saw it. But oh well. We could squeeze in a marriage with the Poles the moment they're actually integrating uh, Moldavia. So I'll, I'm leaving that. Uh, this mod is more exciting. Ah, come on, the mod is not going to make the early game harder. It's the mid game that's going to be harder because tiny nations will have more force limit. And they also develop a hell of a lot more because if you get you get more monarch points to toy around with in this mod. Instead of three, you get five base. So everybody is going to be developing more. It's, uh... Yeah, well. I can see Aragon going places. Not there. Roblox, a Metal Viking and Dr. Afditch and whatnot. Welcome, folks. But yeah, so far, not much happening. I know. I'm just doing my diplomacy. We're doing some... Uh, let's try to get a union but fail, as usual. And uh, more of that jazz. So, wait. You did not flip into a republic yet, did you? She's 70 and he's still living. Uh, come on, Emma, die. Please. Oh. 41. Ah, we'll wait. I got no reason to do it. I also see no reason to integrate my vassal until we actually got a war going. You know, it's still only allied to you. What I could really use is the Pope unrivaling Milan. I sincerely doubt it's gonna be on. Oh well. How long uh, do my claims still last? 74? Oh, we're good. Oh, basically good, I guess. Two, 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 two. Annexed a member of DH2. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm waiting also, Burman. You don't have to do it. Soonish. 
So was there anybody else I was going to improve it? Uh, Portugal, most likely. Yeah, Portugal. No, oh, my hair, damn it! Oh, my God. Okay, we, we might still get uh, a dynasty spread here now, so yeah. Oh, well. And a 422 air. Ah, watch him being of low blah, blah, blah. I don't know, man. A 422, he could break. And get another dynasty. Who's the biggest? It's probably going to be England that is spreading our dynasty into me, then. But the problem is, if I don't have a union, I need a war, because we might actually fall in a union. Oh, I need a war. Oh, well. The moment Milan gets something, I think I'm going to fire that war. It's a pity that, that Genoa allied Florence, though. Now, well, let's see. How many favors do we have with Austria already? Only three. And they don't want any land. And I sincerely doubt that uh, Hungary is dishonoring uh, those guys. But yeah, that would call in all of their... Nah, forget about it. The only way that would work is me declaring on Florence and making him full for co-belligerent. Uh, a lot of... Uh, there's some butts here. Do we still need any more buildings? Sure. No, no. Churches galore. <laughs> and yeah, well. Without shared rivalries, this is not gonna work. I really don't get why Burgundy is all of a sudden not a. Uh, it's probably because we haven't accepted uh, this yet. I could get some, uh, another claim on France also, I guess, but, yeah. Hmm. Ah, oh, man, I just see no opening. Every, there is nobody. It seems like the economy from nations is actually working against me. This mod actually makes them have better uh, management of their economy. Wait, what? Okay, so now there's Ambrosium Republic. So sure. Well, I'll just improve it in Milan for a bit. Well, I'm sorry if this is uh, horribly boring, but I hope my theory crafting to get an opening is actually uh, interesting. No, oh, well, I'll just accept it now because we're getting close to the uh, to the cap here. So there, and can we then rival Burgundy again? I wonder. No, I'll give a ticket a month. No, still not. No. No, the integrate you. Yeah, Navajo, what can I say, man? I'm the... We could... That was actually my plan. Hit Provence, culture shift into French. Uh, but does that mess around with, with the ability to form Sardinia Piedmont? If you actually flip culture? I don't think so. Because, yeah... If... We're allying folks against... Uh... Oh, ooh. Okay, France. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Like I said, we just got no options here. Everybody is allying everybody. No wars are happening. Everybody is balancing each other out. So, yeah. It just seems... Uh, Okay, thanks. Ah, oh, you looked it up, actually. Thanks, chat. That's appreciated, man. 
Oh, okay. Now, could I like the Portuguese? The Portuguese, uh, then we would have a triple alliance block. It kind of makes sense. But what we don't have, of course, is a uh, the right guy for that. How much more can we improve with you? Yeah, that's son. So yeah, hey, Portugal. I'm very friendly towards you. Byzantine refugees, yeah, by all means, technology cost, I really want that. Sure. You got balls, England. Ah, uh, Burgundy, okay. So Burgundy is going at it again, so I need to make a decision here. I know England was dangerous, but yeah. Hmm. Did you have any allies that joined the war? Like Friesland? Who was ally of you? I could team up with the Portuguese and try and defeat them. Did that matter? Yeah, well. I'm gonna have to try something here, right? They don't want my land, so worst case scenario, we just accept that that we uh, get rid of our lines. Oh, okay, let me take a look here. Oh, thirty-two thousand. Why is England? Oh well. It's tempting to get rid of the English, but yeah, they're not going to do it. France is not going to do it. So if I lose the English, it's likely going to be like 50k. Uh, and all of his uh, unions are likely... Uh... No. We could occupy all that and and or maybe all of it, and then just set, and then do our own piece and say, "Ha ha, England." Mm. It all depends how well the fr the uh, the English are willing to fight this. Did the English have boats? Because yeah, if not, then then it's gonna be dishonor. Yeah, they got the transports. How's the tech? Tech five, tech five. Interesting. How much does Portugal even have to bring to the table here? Gotta be informed for this. I don't want to suicide myself here. Portugal. Let me see. Oh, it's also 25,000. They're gonna get the access, alright. No, I'm tempted to do it. Just, just hope. It's a really big let's hope. But let's hope that the English actually fight. What did they desire from Burgundy, actually? all of that. Okay. Well, sure, if I'm gonna accept that, which I might, then I'm just gonna flag all this as vital, man. Whatever. Uh, damn. Oh, well, wait, that's not gonna work, I bet. Because that is sharing... Uh, how far did that go? Ah, oh, wait, no, he does not desire... Uh, he does not desire any no one composers. Very, very interesting. So there and there and there and there. How's the forts? Yeah, he must be paying for his forts. Yep, he is. Come on. 
There. It's a gamble, but I hope that's gonna work. Need to do something, right? We've been sitting on our bum here for long enough. The Ottomans are subsidizing me because we're actually joining a war. It's not that they're gonna flip friendly over it. <laughs> oh well. This is all gonna depend on... Uh... Hey, come over here. This is all gonna depend on what England is doing. And I could use uh, some better... Uh... Generals for this also. Mm -hmm. Watching the not land any troops. I know, right? Ah, oh, shoot! I didn't watch. Nah, I'm an idiot. I wasted troops. I think I wasted. Uh, I think I actually wasted uh, points there. Oh. The Savoy flag? I don't know. I don't even know what it stands for. The F, the E, the R, and the T. Don't, don't know. You tell me. Yeah, can anybody tell me that? What does it stand for, actually? I don't have a clue. Okay, so they attached. Good, good. So most of the Burgundian army is over there, so let's start that siege. Uh, sure. Hmm. It's tempting to give the Wallace now to the nobles. We need a fort there sooner rather than later. And I could really use a general here. So there, we could just piss off the nobles to no end again, and just ask for the military. <laughs> so there, and it's actually an arse channel. Oh, come on! Ugh. Come on. Does uh, Montferrat have a good one? A five one 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 zero. No. Oh God. Twenty six. I need to wait until Portugal arrives, man. If they even arrive. <sighs> ah. Ah, it's happening, isn't it? They're just not gonna do anything, the English. Come on, England, defend your land! Jesus H. Christ. Ah, oh, what's this uh, idiot? He's blockading with all his transports, you're kidding me, right? Ship over your troops, you dumbass! No, oh well. No, oh well. This might have been the wrong gamble. Just hide in my mountains for a while. Not much else to do here. Oh my god. <sighs> I need them to sort off. Ah, okay. That, that. Finally. Yeah, come on, England. Come on, England. Ah. They're just not gonna do anything. Oh, wait, there, there are floating three troops. Wow, England. Oh, yeah, gods. <laughs> you stupid idiots, man. Oh, for the love of all that bloody holy. Yeah, well, I'm marrying the French. Damn. And, uh, yeah, well. They're not gonna do anything, aren't they? Oh, come on, they're standing right there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He might be moving. He might be moving. 
to me the big he might be, but he's... Oh, come on, game, please. England is not doing anything, man. He's just offloading small amounts of troops while I'm just leaving. Yeah. No, wait. They abandoned the siege. What for? Hmm, probably maybe due to that naval invasion. Oh, come on, England. Get your big stacks. Is he doing it? He's doing it! England is coming, John! Um, I need them to mess around here. And actually, John? Yup! I did. I need to move something here, Birdman. So, uh... I just did it. For France, France does not desire my land. Luckily, hmm. oh, come on, oh, he's invading. Why not protect your forts, you idiot? Ah, oh, at least France is invading. That's something, right? Oh, it's tempting to start the siege now. The moment Portugal comes back. Uh, wait, what? Fra France led out Canatieri to Burgundy. Oh, man. France and Burgundy actually are friendly towards each other. That's complicating things. That's complicating things. Okay. <laughs> why, oh, why does France have to be friendly towards the Burgundians? Oh, God. Oh, well. Here's to nothing. Go for go England, man. Come on, England. Come on, help me out over here. You can do it. No? Okay, then. Oh, God. Here we go, chat. No, oh, that was worth a shot, right? Burgundy is not even waiting until I got positive cheats chance. Oh, well. Time to bleed a little. Ah, oh, don't tell me that's going to be a wipe. Oh, God. Might be. Oh. <laughs> okay, sod off now, England. I never should have allied England, man. I knew it was a mistake. Sod off. Uh, well, I told you. Yeah, 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 you told me. I had to try something here. I had to try something, chat. Yeah. Uh -oh. Told me, you told me, yeah, 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 yeah. I know you told me. Hey, at least we don't have to pay for an army anymore, chat. Oh well. No, we made the wrong choice, basically. Allying England, what could possibly go wrong? It was a mistake. Uh, how far are you with integrating that? Did he do something dumb like allying England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defended England versus... Yeah, 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 chat. Hey, mock me all you want. We had to try something here. Oh well, 
the, Eng the Burgundy will likely just accept another alliance. I hope. The null with Denmark. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, yeah, 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 because we're... Yeah. Nah. I need to get out of this board, that's for sure. No, well, we made a mistake, Chad. I, I was tired of sitting on my bum. Is it allowed? Doesn't know how to Byzantium. Huh. Well, at least I did it fair and square without stupid uh, shenanigans. Oh, well, I I'm going to have to uh, do something here, but I don't know what. There is no way I should be staying in this war now. They want me to annul with Denmark and pay me 230. I could do it and then just ally, uh, give up my alliance, ally the French. Before France allies Burgundy. Not sure. I could do that. But the problem is France is likely not even gonna want that, right? Nah. Oh, come on, chat, please. At least we tried, right? At least I tried, man. I had to try something new. I don't think he's gonna actually... Uh... Nah, he's not gonna will I do anything else. Oh, well. Fine, I'll swallow your piece deal. Oh, I went all the time. Lowering the difficulty. Ah, oh, come on, man. We made a mistake allying England. Don't make fun of it. At least I had on 40-44 on, on, on the slightest problem with my diplomacy. We're just going to start anew. We're just going to start anew here. Oh, well. Portugal is likely going to get gobbled up now. Friend up Austria, Austria is already my ally. But yeah, if France flips friendly, I'm tempted to flip it. It's not too far away to ally them. So... I don't know. I don't know. I need to do something here, but... Ah, uh, well... Burgundy, but they're stupid. <laughs> no, well, I could tell France we're friendly. I could even tell Burgundy we're friendly now. <laughs> oh, man. I could marry the Portuguese, but they are. Eh. Nah, forget about it. There's. They're likely not going to get any friends anymore. Unless uh, Aragon allies them. Ah, oh, man. I see no... I still don't see anything we can do here. <laughs> I still don't see anything. Oh, well. No, oh, no, Denmark is not going to be happy. Oh, well, then we just ally the poles, right? Could possibly go wrong with that one. At least we had a war. Right? Wait, are the Ottomans still subsidizing us? Why are the Ottomans continuing to subsidizing us if, if the war actually ended? Huh. Funny. Dun, 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 dun. 
Ah, France flip friendly. Oh, okay, fine then. Table is turning. Okay, so hey, France. What do you want? Who are your allies still? Still Provence? Ah, okay. I really would want France to actually start hating Burgundy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> How's the air situation in you? Age 1. Oh, great. Oh, well, speaking of that. Albania, 47 years old. Maybe not. He's gonna build, 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 I guess. <laughs> what is the next idea we could get? Dip prep? Sure. Pope man is also uh, not interested. Hmm. I should be starting to renew my uh, claims here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just gonna improve it. Everybody around me now. Wait, an alliance? Brunswick? Get out of here! Ah, uh, okay. oh, come on, man! Why do I continuously have to do this manually? Damn it! It makes no sense that it sends it to your rivals. Oh. I should be going. We didn't do a hell of a lot, but tja. It does seem that an AI does not go in debt in this uh, mod. They just don't. The, the economy seems to be better in the uh so AIs are not dishonoring that much which is uh it's making it harder because I got no way to expand here I got no way to expand here man everybody is honoring everybody and it's just, I just don't see openings here but oh I'll see you getting first impression from your mod it's, it's decent man it actually fixes problems in the game that actually are exploitable, like uh, bad economy and whatnot. No, oh. I think tomorrow we'll try uh, doing something. I guess maybe expanding. Yeah, I know, right? Expanding. It's uh, it's insane. I know. But yeah, they, they just don't. Uh, everybody is blocking me from everybody. Always the new world? Nah, we're not gonna go that right. We're not gonna go that right, man. But anyway, Sad, I'm I gotta go. It's been uh, 25 years of sitting on my bum, but yeah, well, it's uh, has been interesting, nevertheless. No. Oh. Let's see if somebody is uh, doing something we can agree with. Uh, oh, I'll just host Shenry on his hard survival one. Yeah, now I do know how the AI uh, like cog blocks me. That's that's what Paradox wanted, right? But then you just uh, can't do it. Then you can still benefit from it if you watch uh, an AI's wars and strike when the, when he's dishonoring. But oh well, let's go watch Shenrir do it, the Kaiserreich mod. And I'll be back with this tomorrow, chat. I hope you folks enjoyed it. I don't know when we, uh, we are going to start it tomorrow, but we'll be back tomorrow. Promise. Bye-bye, folks. And uh, if you don't know Shenrir, he plays a hell of a lot of Paradox games. And uh, he's basically uh, a real good streamer to hang out with and chill. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and let's go reach anyway, bye bye.